AfterBuzz TV network, now the largest new media platform on the web, and your number one source for after-show entertainment. The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's Fashion Star After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's After Buzz TV's Fashion Star After Show. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Fashion. Woo. Yeah, yeah. Working. <laughs> Strike <Twirl>. pose. <laughs> Hollywood can go away right now. <laughs> All right. Hello, guys. So if you are tuning in right now, this is the after show recap for Fashion Star, the best fashion show on TV right now. What Ever. You say? Ever. Um, and we have a very full house tonight, and we have two very special guests from the show. So I'm just going to get to it. Let's go around the table, introduce ourselves to my right. Hey, I'm Steph Z. Hey guys, I'm Erica Vieira. Hey guys, it's Virginia. And I'm Deanna Vaughn. And you can also chat with us live from the After Buzz chat room, which... If you have any questions. Yeah, if you have any questions for our very special guest, who I'm going to introduce right now. We have two contestants from the show this season, Jesse Ray and Garrett. Woo! <laughs> We are so excited to have you guys here in the studio with us just to chat and dish and really give us the, yeah. the lowdown and what happens behind the scenes at Fashion Star. If there's any battles over fabric and scissors and, and scissor, thread. Scissor exactly. wars. Yeah. Stuff that they don't show that they're not showing on. Yes. Yes. Yeah, we want the yeah. scoop. You yeah. want the skinny on everything. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. We want the scoop. So we're going to get started, and, and you guys are going to participate because we have a ton of questions for you, and hopefully yeah. we get some people calling in we're so we can cool. answer their questions. Um, so this is episode five. So we're mm -hmm. kind of, what, halfway through at this point? Yeah, halfway through. Yeah, we're about halfway. halfway through. Yeah. You guys are yeah, still standing. Yeah, yes. we're still there. Yeah. <laughs> team, uh, Jessica got, got, we got, team Jessica got annihilated at yeah. the beginning there. It was yeah. a little rough start for us, but it was, yeah. it was a little. There was a scary moment Friday. Yeah. yeah. I saw the look on your guys' faces. You're all like, "Are we? Are we gonna have to do that?" No, no, no. We're safe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Well, this episode it was all about. It takes two. Mm -hmm. Now, that also reminds me of one of my favorite songs. It takes two to make a We should have opened with that song. <laughs> we so should have opened with that song. <laughs> anyway, but um, so this, this particular challenge, you guys had to literally work in pairs. You had to work with a team, and you had to collaborate a cohesive look with your partner. Now, for some people, it was easier than others. Um, since we have you guys yeah. here, how did that work out for you working with Hunter? You know, it was, it's... Okay, already working with another person like with Garrett, like we're, right. it's it's difficult because we have to collaborate on and and, and come to a decision within 15 minutes, like so like you know oh. and and you're stuck with that decision because there's not enough time. That's so, literally all the time you guys have. They yeah. don't give you an hour. No, or? no, you have. What, what you don't see behind the scenes is it's you get 15 minutes to kind of figure out what you want to do as a design, and then a big part of it was that it has to be cohesive. And uh, the thing that they don't they didn't really ex you know. They really emphasize when we were sitting there reading the rules is it has to look like one designer created both looks. Wow. So you really have to work together. So we have two, it's like so having two like head three, designers. Yeah, there's yeah, three, three head designers. Wow. Is that <laughs> every week where you only get 15 minutes? Yep. Yeah. yeah. So in the, in the case last week where they had come up with a decision and it was Johanna and I, I forget what it was, but she switched her idea. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it looks like you can kind of come up with something but then switch it or is that just against... The rules. No, you can switch it. As oh, okay. long as you have enough time to complete, you have to have a exactly. complete look, walk down the runway. If you don't, then, you know, you can go up for elimination. Right. But so, the whole challenge was that you had to, like, work together as a team. Like, right. that's the whole, like... So, I, and I think we maybe, in a, in a sense, had a little bit of an advantage because Jesse and I work together. We're already two head designers that kind of work together, so we know how to 
you know, think as one. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. And that, that's one of my big questions is how does everyone else feel that you guys are two and they're one? Do they think you uh, guys you know, have an advantage? Yeah, in the beginning, they everybody was like, this is not fair. <laughs> like, why are there two designers? Like, it's, but then they realize as they see us designing that it is much more difficult to have two oh. designers hmm. than to, because you can make a decision and you're like stuck with, and you're done, you're done with that decision. Okay. We have to collaborate and like we have to like, if I don't like something, then, you know, then, you know. We don't have just, a lot of time to argue it out. Yeah. Normally when we, when we like, when we design <laughs> typically in the studio, yeah. it's like, well, I like this. Well, he likes this. Well, I like this color. Why not like that color? It, sometimes we have to like, let it sit for a while. We'll yeah. shelf, we'll pin certain ideas. Yeah because we can't decide on them, but we did not have that time. So we thought going into the show, mm -hmm. we're either gonna be like best of friends or we're gonna hate each other. <laughs> it's like, it was like it's awesome. a dating game. It's like, you know, we're best friends. It's like, this is definitely gonna put our friendship to the test. Yeah. Now, does that mean for the technical thing? So like when it comes to like doing the pattern and draping, does that give you guys an advantage? Cause there's two of you, like, do you split the work? Like, how does that, how no, does that work? Because the show, yeah, we had to stick together and we had to do, like if we were draping, we both had to be. We're draping. like uh, Siamese twins. Uh, they like, yeah, okay. just well, shy of like tying us fair. together. Not one could go like and do like cutting. Something else. And, yeah, right. exactly. Okay, well and, that makes it fair. Yeah. And also, do you guys, have you seen, because you guys designed your own line mm -hmm. before this and mm -hmm. after this, yeah. do you guys, has your roles in how you design together changed because of this show? You know, I gotta say, this show has, it was like fashion boot camp. That's the yeah. only thing, I, the only way I can yeah. explain it. It was like full on fashion boot camp and it really made us better designers. And it gave us a whole new perspective because we got to, I mean, where else do you get to go talk to like Erica De Salvatore and mm -hmm. Caprice Willard and Taryn Schaefer? These are like, these are opportunities that just never come around. And, and then to have, have like the mentorship. And exactly like Jessica Simpson and like John Varvatos, like, I mean, yeah. these are, are people that have built, you know, empires, like right. fashion mm -hmm. empires and like to get their advice. And it's so smart. Like they're yeah. they're so smart. Like in the beginning, I did think they were just like editors, like yeah. you know, mm -hmm. of, of their fashion brands. But they know fabrics. They know construction. Like, How? They and, oh, I'm sorry. I, I was gonna say I, that was my biggest question. I want to know from you guys. Like, really? I mean, you worked with with Jessica Simpson. Mm -hmm. and it's it's interesting because you don't see her or, or I mean, as like a real fashion designer. I mean, she's a business person. But being you know that she was your mentor. What so kind of smart. things did she offer? So yeah. Honestly, yeah. Tell like, us about that. We definitely lucked out. Yeah. You know, in the beginning, we weren't sure. We're like, okay, we thought, you know, maybe Jessica would just edit it, you know, kind of edits her line, and, and she picks what she likes. She knew fabric, fabrication, colors, trends. She knew. That's uh, I mean, and everything was, that she and, and everything that like her concerns, every concern that she she presented to us, like that was a, a valid concern. Like, yeah. you know, that's exactly what the buyers were saying. So like right. we definitely took her advice like yeah. on a lot. That's of why she's a billionaire. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. so, so you, yeah, you would billions? so you would say that the mentors are really hands on. Like yeah. you Absolutely. guys really had like full access to Absolutely. asking them questions and advice. Mm -hmm. They Absolutely. were always there. They, we even exchanged numbers. They would like text us like say, okay, you should really think about doing this. Like you know, and you should you know talk about your garment like this. Like. They're hands on 100%. Oh, like, well, because yeah. I feel like this uh, this season mm -hmm. it's like a competition between them also. Yes. Yeah, because you know? right. it's like they want yeah. their team exactly. to succeed. Yeah. So I think that's really awesome. But you you know you mentioned that you talked to the buyers. How much feedback were they giving you guys? Because they edit it where it's like yay or nay, you know. But do they sit there? Because I remember one contestant last time said for an hour they were uh, kind of talking to them. Absolutely. Like when we're up there, there's a lot of stuff that they cut out. Um, but they do. Like you know, you could you have the opportunity to to speak to the buyers and and, and ask why didn't you purchase or, or or place a bid or or why did you place a bid? Like that, that's and so they did give the, their feedback. And it's probably the most valuable feedback. Right. It's <coughs> some people never asked, and I think those who never asked, you could see that maybe they didn't progress as much. But and it's a scary thing to to ask them mm -hmm. what they don't like and yeah. why they didn't buy you or mm -hmm. why right. they didn't buy as much or you know because. You don't want a whole America to yeah. see like that's like yeah. airing all your dirty laundry. Yeah. Like, uh, but it's invaluable feedback, though, absolutely. right? To, to hear that. Well, yeah. let's let's get to the challenge. So you guys, um, along with Hunter, you uh -huh. Hunter did the uh, snap pencil skirt, uh -huh. and then you guys had that cute sweater. I'm hearing. I'm hearing yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll just. We have on. we have a roar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Around yeah. everywhere. We have a huge live audience. <laughs> <laughs> and they're just really out of hand. Yeah. <laughs> So, so let's see here. So you guys got a buy from Macy's for fifty thousand, yes. and then yeah. Hunter got a buy from Express for fifty-five thousand. Were you expecting for something bigger? I have to say, I I, I was expecting a lot bigger mm -hmm. um, of a bid 
and I also from from all buy from all stores. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I felt like our, you know, just the whole outfit. I I felt like it could sit in all stores. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but one thing we didn't think of, which Daniel and Johanna thought of, which was really smart, and they didn't really talk about it on the show, is they said, well, we're going to design into a print where the buyer, they're going to have to buy not only the top, but the mm, bottom. That mm -hmm. makes that sense. That was smart. Sense. And we, we heard them talking about it, we're like, hmm, mm, that's that, actually a good idea. But we kind but of went the opposite way because we were, we were also saying, like, we need to get the most amount of money, the most amount of bids mm -hmm. right. um, in order to be safe. Right. So, like, you know, so say one person, you know, Express doesn't like her skirt, yeah. you know, then, then they're obviously, if we make a top that goes with her skirt, then they're not going to want her top. So we decided right. to right. diversify yeah. ourselves. Now, yeah. who would you say, like, your, who is the girl that you design for? Like, where does she shop? Like, what stores? Does she shop at an Express, a Macy's, a Saks, a Intermix? Like, where does she shop? Yeah, the girl that we design for, she is, uh, you know, um, it, it's, a, it's a wide uh, range. So it's, she's between 25 to 50. And mm -hmm. she loves luxury. It's, it's luxury casual, casual luxury uh, product. Mm -hmm. And but we use a lot of casual. She's like an Intermix girl yeah. that, okay. you know, that loves to, you know, that loves that, that very, very casual piece that you can dress up because there's diversity in all of our pieces. Yes. Right. Yeah. And then, yeah. you know, and classy. even that's with our normal collection with the showback line. Mm -hmm. With the actual collection that we created for the show, yeah. we knew that sweaters, we made that very apparent from the first the first episode that yeah. Yeah. sweaters or working with knits, especially for springs and going into summer, Makes sense. Mm -hmm. was not going to, we weren't going to stick around very yeah. long. So we well, better, we better how, learn how, how to do you make, how do you make, Like it's a fashion show. How do you make a sweater like look cool, you know, yeah. amazing and, and like, you know, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. I mean, what do you do? Like you bedazzle it? Like, I don't know. Like yeah. a, we so tried that, <laughs> right? Gluing thing. <laughs> I have one question before we go away from the Hunter and the Daniel and Johanna. Uh -huh. the, when Hunter came back in and was very nervous about their style, my question is, do you guys design, because I know for me, when I had my line, I was very adamant to not go look at what competition has. Like I mm -hmm. never shopped, okay. I didn't shop a lot in the yeah. stores that I sold to uh -huh. because I didn't want to be like, oh my God, they're doing that. Does that mean I have to do this? Like I just oh, yeah. designed from inside. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of people though design from inspiration. Mm -hmm. Did you guys, like, what do you think that line is to being aware of what everybody else is doing, but just staying true to you? Cause I feel like it made a little bit of an insecurity. It wasn't mm -hmm. like she saw that and was inspired yeah. to do something. Yeah. Like, I feel like there's a very fine line with that. You know, I think the, when we watched the episode uh, on Friday and we saw we saw all of her reactions, it almost became more apparent that you're absolutely right. We 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 by seeing it, it put that out there that mm -hmm. oh my god, it's they're gonna kill it. And all of a sudden, that was the energy, and I think we almost manifested that. Yeah. And, and it was like That's whenever you put it out, right. like, mm -hmm. we feel a certain way. I felt we felt so confident yeah. about our our top yeah. and our look. And, Right. I thought it looked. I thought it looked amazing. To be mm -hmm. honest, I loved our the, the way it was styled and the way it went down the runway and how we kind of merchandised it together. But man, I think we put it out there. We just manifested the whole thing. And in the end, we didn't change anything. Like we left it the way it was because right. we felt so strong with our design originally. We didn't like because she wanted you know Hunter wanted to you know change our top because she didn't mm -hmm. feel that it went well with the skirt, but. But we 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 stuck true to what we designed. And the finished look yeah. was great. Yeah. yeah, it was awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. When you do, and, and answering the other question about do you do we get inspiration from other designers or do we look out there and see what else see what everyone else is doing? The design studio is set up so you cannot not see what everyone else is doing. Mm -hmm. The right. fittings oh. are right there. The cameras are there. Yeah. And you can't. Well, that's I, to add the drama. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Like oh, you're sitting there. Yeah. I have to put like blinders on and like yeah. glasses and. Because yeah. you know, I did. I is. found that was not helpful for me. No, you know what I mean? Not. And you know, they would say like, you know, the trend says this. So you have to be like, oh, wait, I have to do it like that. But I kind of feel this. And you know, like when's that moment to like go out of the box mm -hmm. and be the next big thing mm -hmm. or just follow suit with what everyone else is doing. So I feel like exactly. that's interesting. Yeah. I definitely think though that it was smart for Johanna and them to make the two piece the same because when, when they were doing the buy, I was mm -hmm. like, he has to buy it yeah. because he already bought the other piece and yeah. has to smart. go together. Yeah. So it I was knew that buy was coming too. Yeah, yeah. that was smart. great. So, well, well, speaking of Johanna yeah. and Daniel, let's let's talk about them right now. Uh, so they're from Team Nicole. They were obviously the winners of the night, but the cameras didn't like lead us to believe that because those two were like oil and water yep. in the beginning. Yeah. Like you couldn't even get them to say, okay, this is A and this is B. Mm -hmm. So how how real was that friction between the that, two of them? That was very real. Yeah. yeah. The they, whole like, I mean, we, cause we were, our, our stations are right next to each other. So we'd hear like all this like, you know, 
commotion. Commotion going on. <laughs> like, Whoa, what's going on? Like, okay, like this is real. Like, there, like there's like some heat going on. Really? Like, you know, they got spicy. In there. <laughs> they got hot. Because you always want to wonder, like, you know, what what went to editing, what's real. Yeah, no, so yeah. that you know? was definitely yeah. pretty true to the course. Yeah. I mean, from. You, you didn't you saw a little bit of the spillover from the the prior you right. know challenge yeah. but, but man like that was as true as it could be they they didn't do any really editing magic maybe they made it a little nicer were you guys surprised at the end result of, of johanna's and and daniel's Daniel. item that it was so that they were able to come together and really unite and create such a great piece we knew like in the competition that with Johanna's like more commercial viewpoint and mm -hmm. Daniel's more, he's more of a creative, you know, art artistic, you know, designer. And if they can merge those two ideas together, those two like you know, you know, talents, talents, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Like they would be unstoppable. And like and and they and they did prove it like with this challenge. And we everybody I think in the design city was like, wow, if they continue to, you know, merge and, and mesh their their ideas together, mm -hmm. they're gonna be they're gonna win. Like, Interesting. And who do you guys think is your? I mean, in the competition, who is really the the your just the competition? competition? Yeah, just the competition to beat. Who are the just in your opinion, just the top talented designers of the show? You know, in my in my eyes, I I think it's Sylvia because I think she's got a really it's a classic eye. I really love yeah. her style. I think mm -hmm. she's very refined. You know, there, there's definitely chaos and madness to her designs, but she's like a mad scientist because whatever she creates, she. <laughs> It is like this. It looks. It, she creates this look, and it's this. It's a. It's like a complete and it's package. It's consistent. It's yeah. consistent. It's high end. It's very European. It's mm -hmm. like she has a. You know this more sophisticated. You know viewpoint, and mm -hmm. and she's always being purchased. You know she has a great eye. Yeah. She really and does. Zach loves yeah. her. Yeah. And like you know, and the fact that she could also like with this challenge, she could sell, sell to mm -hmm. Express, and mm -hmm. and with the previous challenge, sold to Macy's. So mm -hmm. it's like I mean she's. Definitely one, two. She's on fire. Yeah. Really? So wow. we, we just like we look at her like she sits right behind us. Oh, what the hell is she doing Latin, back she's there? She's got this Latin flair and she's like speaking in Spanish and she's like she's all over the place and she's just like yeah she's. Definitely it's, she's one. like a mad scientist. That's the only way I can yeah. explain yeah. it. Like yeah. it's like her whole persona is just like mad scientist creating this creation and boom it's like this amazing thing. Like, well, perfect perfect opportunity to move on to Amber and Sylvia uh -huh. from Team right. John. Mm -hmm. So Amber designed the blouse mm -hmm. and there was a little friction with them as well and then mm -hmm. sylvia had that super cute soft modern pant with the pleats which at first when i saw her pant i was like it's cute but can everybody wear it because mm -hmm. it's pleats and that we know everybody question. can't yeah. wear pleats that's hard but yeah. it was a sexy pant yeah. so yeah. i was yeah. a little exactly. nervous for her because sometimes if you do have that taste level mm -hmm. sometimes yeah. it's hard bringing it down yes. you know Absolutely. what i mean so what did you guys think of their combination, what they put out together? I thought they did a phenomenal job, honestly. Like, I love the whole orange and white look, and we kind of did that with our skirt. Like, Hunter had the orange skirt, and we had the white top. Like, mm -hmm. that's such a, like, a huge, like, statement. And um, I, I, I think they, like, I think they meshed you, really well together. But, it, you know, go talking about how mentors really can affect what you design, mm -hmm. what they originally, and it, they showed it in that episode, is um, when they were showing what their sketches, Sylvia's going to do a coat, and Amber's going to do a, a top, and mm -hmm. then they were going to merchandise in, uh, you know, Daniel was going to merchandise in some kind of pant. Mm -hmm. And John said, you know what, I don't think that's a wise idea. If you do the top, then Amber's not going to get bought, because you're not going to see her blouse. That was, yeah. And mm -hmm. it's, it's things like that, and even, you know, Jessica tells us little details, but it was... Like it's things like that that really change how you think, and we mm -hmm. have to be quick because you had to make a you know a split de a decision, like a split second decision. So immediately she yeah. said, okay, and, and they showed the whole thing. I'm gonna make a pant, and then you have to go right into it. And speaking of the mentors, how much time do you actually have with the mentors? Like, are they is Jessica there? You know, ten minutes and she's out, or is she there like a lot? She's there quite a bit. Yeah. So they yeah. they come in. They um they actually see they. As it goes on through the episodes, they actually visit us when we go fabric shopping, mm -hmm. we go buy trims, wow. you know, mm -hmm. they meet us back in the studio, they're there for our fittings. Mm -hmm. So they're there to give us kind of their perspective. And, and it's never it's never like a force, you, ha you should do this, I would do this. It was like, well, I would suggest maybe thinking about A, B, and C. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have a question about that. Do you guys, and if you're not allowed to say this, it's fine, but it's, do you, are you guys given a certain amount to spend on fabric and such per, Per look, yeah, yep. budget, yeah. a budget. That's we right. Get, we all like have it's the like same real, budget. and they yeah. made it very clear. It's just like real life. You got a timeline, you get, you have a timeline, and you have a budget, and you okay. have to, you have to bring it in on time and under budget. Uh -huh. Give so us your. We oh. became hoarders. 
<laughs> we, 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 we maximized our budget. We didn't like, like at the trend store, we didn't need certain things, but you never know, like if you need it for next challenge, because you could use we started that bartering. for the next challenge. Oh, but that's I the same see. thing, like if you guys had stuff from your own line, could mm -hmm. you use that, or you you have to purchase everything new purchase for the show? New okay. sure. No, 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 not for each episode. We can actually, we can trade fabric. It became oh, like, really? we had like a whole little underground oh, black oh, yeah, market. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like bartering yeah. stuff, like, do you need zippers? I got zippers here. I have the yeah. zipper man. You never, you never know what you're gonna, so we just like bought like a whole bunch of crazy stuff. Cause like, that's when the real design happens when you're, when you're doing fittings yeah. and like, and you're like, oh, you know, this like leather trim would do, would be amazing. Like, right. so that's like, so we would buy a whole bunch of stuff and, and wow. hopefully, you know, use it. Like there's a lot of stuff we didn't use it. <laughs> spent a lot of money, but because <laughs> it, it is, you are creating three different. You know, like you get three. You can choose like a print or a mm -hmm. solid. Uh -huh. So you have to do. Do they give it to you all for that? And then you know, you just happen to luckily have enough fabric or whatever that next time. Yeah. Well, well, the thing is, is our, the samples that you see are actually they're the muslin. What we had started doing is we would single needle the muslin. And then we would do a fitting because we wouldn't get our model cards. We wouldn't know who would be modeling for us until that morning. So sometimes they'd be bigger, taller, short. So we started just doing larger mm -hmm. seam allowances, yeah. bringing it in, wow. ripping smart. the seams. That's why you always see us ripping seams. Because in the beginning, everybody would like, I mean, traditionally you do like make a muslin out of like not your actual fabric. And then that's how you do the fitting. But mm -hmm. there's not enough time to do that and to sew something up. So you have to like a a sew it out of actual fabric. Oh, wow. And speaking yeah. of time, how, what is the timeline exactly? How much time from start to finish you guys have? Oh jeez, we get. What is it like? A we, day? we you get, you get two. We essentially have less than. We have like a day and a half. Yeah. Okay. We have a day and a half to create those looks. Wow. And then start, and start to finish. To finish. And yeah. that's with also the fit, the final fitting, like yeah. with wow. the model and everything. So that's you guys you, aren't sleeping. It's like no. literally. You through. have like six hours of sleep. Yeah. You like work. We, we became like, like robots. But yeah. are you are you allowed, allowed to work into the night? Like, can you work no. until one, two a.m. or you have to? Okay. Yeah, they stop us. And, and the wow. way this season was filmed, is it like you had one challenge a week, or was it bam, 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 they just kept on going? Well, what they didn't show is, like, there was, like, strikes going on or something like that, like, writer strikes yeah, or, or camera strikes or yeah. something like that. So we had to, like, condense, because the, we had they had to be out of the studios, I think, I don't know, like, at a certain time. So they, we had to condense some of the challenges. And so, like, in one day, we did, like, two buildings oh wow oh my god yeah, so we have to yeah. like you know so you don't know if you get to show your second piece yeah You're exactly like, you don't know i love to get my show. second piece <laughs> yeah. am i gonna be able to show oh, that wow. to you? <laughs> yeah oh my god wow yeah. well let's wow. move on to the last team uh under john and it was cassandra and brandon mm -hmm. the lone menswear designers mm -hmm. what did you guys think of what they pulled together you know, I thought it was fantastic. Mm -hmm. Personally, I think Brandon should have been the one to actually design the jacket because he's such a fun. I have, yeah, he's a, such a phenomenal um, designer. Mm -hmm. So, and I was actually in, you know, moving on like to the fact that, can I talk about that? What you going? Uh, we, we, yeah, we're gonna okay. get to that. But yeah, All right. yeah, but yeah, it was, yeah. It was yeah. super. It was super. It was actually we developed a friendship with him because he's yeah. is a very. He's like a. It's like an M&M. &M. He's like a very hard shell, Aww. but inside he's like just soft. He's the sweetest guy. Yeah. And he's smart. And yeah. you. What but, color M&M um, &M is he? No. <laughs> Blue. <laughs> Blue. <laughs> oh. No, but he like they he changed they changed colorways like because they they you know working together they there was a little tension there too like I mean yeah. I think with anybody like there's I mean especially this is the first time we're working together in groups so like there's like you know there's a little tension there and and uh, he changed color fabrics or something like that and and Cassandra was not too happy so they were like yeah. you know yelling from across the room but mm. like, I'm yeah. gonna throw this out there <laughs> I didn't really like the jacket I thought it had a weird fit yeah when it was walking the runway I thought one side looked different than the other <coughs> and um I just wasn't really but no know, disrespect just wasn't yeah, a big fan yeah. but did in Cassandra, like in defense of Cassandra, be able to do three tailor jackets mm -hmm. was that's, three, yeah, three yeah, tailor jackets in a day and a half. Yeah, that's true. That brings a whole new like perspective. Exactly. The fact to that it. it even went, well, I thought it was they were being overly ambitious. Exactly. Yeah. So there's no way. I mean, I mean, and then it you don't see the inside, but it's fully lined. Yeah. And it's like it's tailored. Uh, it's like really like, I mean, wow. it's, there's so much construction that went into this jacket and the pants. Yeah. Uh -huh. Like and you know and. It, Brandon's pants were. That's yeah. a, the hard. And the hardest thing is you don't get to meet your models. Yeah. So you don't know how to like. Mm -hmm. See, I thought, the, yeah, I thought the. Yeah, I thought the pants were awesome. too tight. I yeah. did yeah. too. They, it was like they, a European yeah. kind of. Yeah. 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 Way Which too is, tight. I'm yeah. okay I, with. I like but, the European. Yeah. Pants. <laughs> but for, for the average American guy, I don't think he really gets Especially, how to wear a pant like that. Yeah. After you, after you like meet with your model, like you have maybe a few hours to like revise to rip it. it. 
add, and you can never, you can never add. Yeah. You can only cut. Yeah. yeah. So. Well, I was this just really true. disappointed he didn't stand up for himself and be like, I need to make this jacket. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm a jacket yeah. person. Like, it just didn't make sense to me. And I was so sad yeah. inside because I thought he would have, like, blown the jacket away. Yeah. As opposed to, I mean, we've all seen this jacket. But, you yeah. know, that's all part of yeah. being in, in a team. You know, really, yeah. uh, he was a real team player when it came right. down to it. Because yeah. if you if you start arguing about who's going to do what, you never get anywhere. And it's just yeah. because they literally load you into a van, you're off to the fabric store in downtown LA. Mm. Yeah. Right. Well, can, can I ask where you guys shot? Um, yeah, or can you not say? Fancy. We went to, actually, went to our place that we go to quite a bit um, is Ragfinder. I was going to say Ragfinder. Yeah, that place is amazing. Yeah. So Ruben owns it. He's like the cool. He's the coolest guy. But it is like, what is it, five stories yeah. Yeah, and a basement? Huge. Which I've never been in the basement. I'm like, there's a basement here? <laughs> it's, got, it's got everything. It's got lace. It's got leather. It got. It has everything like that you could possibly need. So That's cool. Yeah. So, when, oh, so, so when it comes to the buyers, mm -hmm. Do you see them at all before it's actually presented during the show? Or is that is that it? Well, the only time we actually saw the buyers before mm -hmm. the show was when they're getting their hair and makeup done. Okay. And they weren't allowed to look at you. And they had to walk. It was just very, yeah, like, intimate. We're, like, <laughs> sitting in the room, and they're, like, walking by. Like, oh. yeah. yeah, they can't look You think we're getting in order? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They didn't yeah. smile at us. Uh, Did yeah. you guys have a, a certain store in mind that, like, every week was, like, okay, I want, I'm making this shirt, and I hope. Sax buys it. I hope. In the beginning, we did. In the beginning, we we had specific stores. Then you realize in the challenge, you have to sell to all stores. So like then it then it then it kind of changed, and we did tailor, um, you know, our designs for certain stores. Like I mean, I think we had Saks and Macy's, and so now we're trying to get Express. And it's tough. I mean, it's it's tough for us to. It's all it goes to your fab fabrication. Um, how you design and how many stitch lines there are because exactly. it has to sell at a certain price point. Exactly. What kind of fabric we uh -huh. choose, right? You know, and if there's a print and so you have to factor in all those things. And you only have 45 minutes when you're shopping for fabric to think of that. You know, yeah. to think about that. So it really challenges. That's why I was like fashion boot camp because so it challenges you to do all at, those. At this point in the competition, you <coughs> sold to Macy's. Who um, else have you sold to sex. at this point? Macy's. So and sex. Express is the lone uh -huh. holdout. You gotta yeah. get Express to we buy. You gotta get Express. It. Now, do they tell you guys? Okay, so this week the buyers are gonna spend this much, or is it always just random? Do oh, you know? You, there's no goal for yeah. any of the buyers. Yeah, you don't know. It's like, and they. I don't, nobody knows. Yeah, you just go up just, there and it's like the most intimidating thing because they've got like a million cameras looking at you, you know, and you start sweating. And then sweating. you have this audience <laughs> and you're right. like, okay, we're up here. Like, they're, what are they going to say like bad about? Like, or if, if they say oh. anything bad about So la the last episode, my mom and dad were in the in the audience. <laughs> uh -huh. And my, you didn't even show up. My mom was screaming because she's Chinese. She's like, <laughs> it, you, know, you can't get tamed. She's like, woo, that's my son, honey. I'm like, oh my God. And then she's oh. wearing our stuff and she's like, Flashing it, I'm like, "Fuck, you're flashing America!" I'm like, "It's NBC, it's a family show." Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. Well, I, I will share with you because I used to work with Erica, the Express mm -hmm. buyer. I do that in air quotes. <laughs> but um, like, I, I do know that like they usually travel with a planner. So when it comes to the buyers placing their bids, they also have to follow, you know, a guideline, just as if they were in the stores working a regular day doing, you know, buys. So right. a, a planners with them, crunching the numbers, figuring out because they have a budget too. N during the show, because like. How Terrence, mm -hmm. he had those huge bids. Is it like, okay, well, now he's done well, and they, he can't buy from anybody No, 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 else? but they already know going into it, okay, this episode, I have this allocation, this episode, I have, and, and they know what they have to play with when it comes to that. So that much I yeah. can't share. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, actually, you're, you're absolutely right. It wasn't just like an arbitrary buy. Like, yeah, I it's think, not. I, like an emotional buy, it was calculated out. I guess they, mm -hmm. they came yeah. in, they took a look at the actual garment, how it's constructed. And so they, they do, do that, look at that, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's right. So they but, see all the But that doesn't before. change. Or, that they can change their mind because it, it also can, like, you know, look amazing on the runway. Mm -hmm. And so they can change their. their yeah. They well, come away with an, uh, an idea, but it can look amazing on the mannequin, but look terrible on the runway. Yeah. So mm -hmm. and if, if, exactly. And that is, I guess, I mean. So they have the opportunity to feel it and yeah. touch it prior to yes. the show. Yeah. Okay. And when you mentioned that they, the buyers do give you a lot of feedback, is that happening while you're filming? So is it literally you have an hour there with the buyers talking and the whole time it's being filmed? Or are they filming and then later on you have an opportunity privately no, to talk with the buyers? The feedback buyer? we get from the buyers is on stage while we're nervous as, like, okay. all the, uh, is, is, you know, nervous as can be, standing there with, like, looking at all of America and you're like, 
well, why did you like our stuff? Or <laughs> why did you, or, or why did you love it? You know, on the same token, like, why did you buy this? So we know how to design more yeah. into that. So yeah. you never had any yeah. private interaction with the buyers like it is with the mentors. It's literally just on stage, that's it. Mm -hmm. and it was purely public. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> also, when we saw, I believe it was last week on, um, I forget who's short, when there was two white pockets on the back and they said they were express, oh, I think, or Macy, someone said they were uh -huh. going to, remove one pack uh -huh. pocket how much of that happens like or do they pretty much stay true to fabric design fit grading everything like from that from what we're seeing like in what they're purchasing they are staying true to what they what they saw on the runway right. but they do have the opportunity to change something if they if they do so like either adding another colorway i think with cassandra's um, uh, plus size challenge they added another colorway um, so they can have the, have the opportunity to change it up a little bit, but they don't. But they won't. Like, but they won't. They won't modify our our vision. Yeah. Like the, and what Erica said, and she did that on the show, so people would would expect it wouldn't be a surprise when they go online to buy it mm -hmm. or go in store to buy it that there's all of a sudden a pocket that's changed. Mm -hmm. So, right. but the stuff we purchased every single item because we just wanted to see, and every single thing was like, wow, this. I mean, they did an amazing job. Yeah, it's right. spot so, on. Like at, from. Yeah, everything, like construction, too. About the purchasing, though, us over here on the West Coast kind of get the short end of the stick. Yeah. Because you know? yeah. they, they, they don't, like, hold the reserve yeah. for, like, the release of this show. I know. And our our, our 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 summer dress like sold out before they, the I before the show. I wanted that yeah. so bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the nude with the orange, yeah. you know, and that one, and the black long yeah. sleeve dress. I literally went on <laughs> and it was gone. <laughs> I wanted that dress so bad. Yeah. I know. A lot of we were getting a lot of tweets. So like, are you guys gonna make it again? Yes. And like, we don't have control that over that. That was my next but, question. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not our design anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a bummer because you don't want to go watch like all my because I. Like contemplated going online before, like, yeah. when it's yeah. airing on yeah. the East Coast so I can buy it, but I'm like, that's gonna ruin the whole show. Yeah. yeah. Right. I was gonna rock that to Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. You look like hot then too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're so bummed. You don't rock the pool party. <laughs> All right, well let's let's quickly talk about let's see, the two people that were up for elimination this episode was Brandon and Amber. Do you think the correct two people were well obviously the yeah. challenge was a little different. It was about, you know, who sold, you know, the most yeah. was Fine, but do you think the right two people? You know, I think well because everybody sold, right? Every, everybody, everybody sold. Everybody, everybody sold. sold. Yeah. You know, I, the, both both designers are equally talented, mm -hmm. and each one is. I mean, I think Amber's an amazing designer. She has an amazing look and a feel, and she definitely knows her girl. Yeah. And Brandon is an incredible men's designer, and I was actually really surprised that. I, mean, I don't know. Nobody wants to be up there, and I think that's why they like they gave that like it was like a zinger. Like all yeah. of a sudden, whoever doesn't get the highest bid is going to be up for elimination. It's like oh, okay, well that could be any of us, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So and it's it, you know, I mean it was it must be a tough choice for the mentors. Yeah. But I don't know. I think at that point because we're halfway through the season. Right. Exactly. Really and I think th like the, you got the cream of the crop. Like you know, I think mm -hmm. you have like everybody is a, has proven themselves. They're they they've already sold like multiple times. Right. And so like it's already halfway through the season, and you know. And I promise that's not like some BS, like, you know, <laughs> you know no, politically so, correct yeah, answer. No, they're really so it is. talented, yeah. and it's like, it could be any, it, you know, yeah. any of Now, Brandon was eliminated, yeah. mm -hmm. the only menswear designer, well, you know, yeah. sole menswear designer. Mm -hmm. Has there been anyone up to this point that's been eliminated that you thought went home too soon that should still be in the competition? Putting you on the spot. Mm, I don't <laughs> You know what? I would not want to be the one making those decisions because <laughs> that's I, 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 a nice all, right. yeah. that, that is yeah. Smart boy. Smart boy. Yeah. But there, I honestly would not want to make those decisions yeah. because any yeah. one of us could have been put up for elimination. Yeah. Well, right. we, we, were, we were like we were like the first episode. We that's were right. bottom two. Yeah. And thank God, you know they, you know, uh, Sax and and Macy yep. saved us. And thank God you all didn't see like we had to fight for our life. Up oh there. yeah, they didn't show that part. We this had, one they're was like. like his eyes turned huge, <laughs> and he started blinking, oh, and, his, I he and then I, like, oh. got dry, and I'm like, that's oh. like, <laughs> I was like, oh, a great face this past week. There was a great face on this past week's oh, episode. Oh, my gosh. He's very, I never knew he was very animated. He's like a cartoon character. Like, totally. I know. I'm like, what the hell did I do? Like, what's going on? There is no Botox in this face. <laughs> it moves. It moves. <laughs> Another on the spot question. Did you guys get along with everybody, all the designers? Like, there had to be some kind of like. Mm. No, well, we some were the. Eye rolls. We got along with everybody. There, okay. there was, there's a little like. No tension? We were like. Hated. We, 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 what? You got along with oh, everybody. That's true. This oh. 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 <laughs> you know, there's a few people that. 
I can't say that I particularly cared about. Who? Um, Let us oh. come on, come, come on. on. I, 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 you are a I, Well, it's going to come out anyways. It's going to, because it should. It, yeah, well, so, for example, um, Priscilla. I okay. didn't really care for her. Who went um, home last she went week? Home. She went yeah. last Which week. is very interesting how she went home and then Daniel and Johanna were able to figure it out yeah. Yeah. without her. That's without interesting. Her. But yeah. Yeah. It's not that I didn't I, I didn't really care for her. I just I the way that they talked about Johanna because Johanna and I became really good friends. I really mm -hmm. like her. She's, there's a really, she's, she's adorable. A really, she's an yeah. amazing yeah. person. Hard worker. She's, yeah. she's coming here in like two weeks. Yeah, in oh, two she, weeks. I love her. Yeah. Yeah. She's a really she's an amazing person. When you guys talk to her, you'll know that she doesn't say anything bad about anybody. She puts her head down. She works hard. And then when she left to go to the fabric store, I mean, granted, all you saw was me eating, but I was mm -hmm. like, holy, you, like, if you could read my mind at that point, I was like, if they're saying that about her, I can only imagine when I walk out and we do our interviews and we're gone for an hour or two, what the heck did they say about us? Yeah. yeah. You know, and it's like, that's just my, my grandma always told me that, like, you, you know, yeah. don't say anything bad about anyone else unless you're willing mm -hmm. to say it to their face. And, you know, I'm very, you know, I'm up above board with everybody, but yeah. I just sat there and I watched them like, Okay, that's not cool. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. I think, too, when we were offline, but me and Jesse Ray were talking this week, and we were talking about how much of that is shown on the show, like ego mm -hmm. and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And with this game, because we've sold mm -hmm. lines to the stores, to buyers, like, it is a game. And oh. if at that level, yeah. like, if you can't let your ego go and, like, get over it, I think exactly. that that's a key yeah. ingredient to success in the fashion industry. Absolutely. And it was just a lot of people kind of show their... But on this show, you know, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. Like, it's 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 like real life, you know. Like we right. have our, our line, we sell to Neiman Marcus, we sell to Intermix, and there are sometimes that you know it's just not for them. Like, mm -hmm. and right. so I think with that experience, it was a, l a little bit easier for us. Whereas the other designers who don't have lines and are just starting out, mm -hmm. um, it's it's new to them, and so their egos do get hurt, and they and they do like you know they have this whole idea of. But it's yeah. but it is like Jesse said, it's real life, and it, I have to say the blessing it was like a blessing in disguise. The fact that we got put up for elimination in the very beginning mm. really checked us, checked our ego, mm -hmm. because everyone walked in there. We, I remember when we all walked in, we we're all in the hotel, we we're all sitting there looking at each other. Everyone was sizing <laughs> each other up, we're like right. who's you know, who, and then we we're like, okay. I was like, writing everyone's name down. <laughs> we went back that night, we're like googling everybody, like, who are we up against? You know, mm -hmm. it was it's intense because it's your reputation, it's everything out there, and if you don't sell and you get sent home, especially if we'd gotten sent home mm -hmm. straight away, mm -hmm. it could have been really the kind of a you know gnarly for us yeah so, so when you know when you're doing all of this I just feel like this season is so much like the designers y'all are so much more experienced than last yeah. season I think last season was kind of like a learning process for you know even the crew yeah. out and everything mm -hmm. yeah but this season I'm just been blown away with you guys and like even with Project Runway I feel like the designers here okay. are so, like a, just a completely different caliber. Exactly than like the, everybody else. they came from like everybody is experienced uh -huh. they work for like Catherine Malandrino to Ellie Tahari. Um, Daniel worked for Carolina Herrera. Carolina Herrera. Herrera. Oh, like, I yeah. mean, Mark wow. Jacobs. So, like, everybody came from, like, a really strong fashion background. And and we're all, like, on par. Like, it, and mm -hmm. that's, like, the cool thing because it's, like, and we're not just designing, like, we're Project Runway. We're, you know, out of flower mats yeah. or avant-garde stuff. Like, this is real stuff that people are actually purchasing. Yeah, so, it's going to be ready So, to it's, wear. like, commercial stuff. Tell us a little bit about the, the audition process for this. Because it does sound like everybody pretty much mm -hmm. came from experience. Are they just looking at your prior portfolios? Or did you have to kind of do some kind of challenge or something? They, I, I think they, they sought out a lot of people. They found us through our boutiques. Oh. But there's a lot of people. Yeah. Like, Sylvia came for some yeah. other random thing. And she's some... They, they just found the best of the best. And there were thousands of people that applied and they went through it and I mean I don't know how it all works mm -hmm. we didn't get you know mm -hmm. we didn't get the behind the scenes on that but I do know and I know we know of some people mm -hmm. who actually applied that are amazing designers wow. they're like wow get it. Yeah, yeah they didn't they didn't make well, it I'm on sure the show I'm sure the other part of it too it's not just you know how good you are as a designer it's about the chemistry of the contestants it's about mm -hmm. your yeah. personalities mm -hmm. it's about how cute you are yeah, yeah. Yeah. marketable yeah. Yeah. yeah how marketable are you so a lot exactly. goes into the, the process but there's a lot exactly. if you look at the show there's a lot of diversity yeah, and they yeah. definitely like most shows you just you would I would totally agree like wow everyone's like a like a model yeah. like yeah. are you a model like yeah. you know <laughs> wow everyone <laughs> And, and you were Asian designer? Accent. <laughs> and the only black girl, she had to go home early. <laughs> you know, Tori. I love Tori. Amazing. That was actually probably yeah. the, one of the, There was a couple of people that we were super bummed out yeah. for losing. Yeah. And Tori's definitely one of them. Yeah. yeah. Because I feel like her silk dress, had yeah. it been complete, she would have got bought. And it would have been. You yeah, know, it just wasn't been. complete. And like, you know, and, and we, off camera, like we got to hang out with a lot of people. And Tori was one of them that, mm -hmm. you know, we had a hotel room next to each other. And so we would like 
kind of strategize and yeah, and talk about like how we're going to go into this next challenge and yeah and it's she's a yeah. good person she's like I, she's a genuinely good person. You see her yeah. that smile. It's a ge she's like a genuine person. There, yeah. There's well, a lot of people on there were real. I mean, there's a few that weren't, but I would say the majority, like Tori, Johanna, yeah. Sylvia, you know, Hunter, yeah. just, just great people. Yeah. Well, guys, we are we're running out of time. I wish yeah. we had more time. <laughs> yeah. 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 So why don't you tell us? Well, within reason, what you can tell us. What can we expect for the rest of uh, the season to come on Fashion Star? It definitely gets a lot challenging okay. um, because the competition is getting a lot there you know it, it's 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 a game and and they're everybody's realizing that it's a game and because in the beginning it's like I just want to sell to whoever mm -hmm, right. but now it's like you, everybody's strategizing and 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 that's a big play going forward into the and, yeah. and there's a lot of like there, the show only gets better and you'll get to know us and, and all the other contestants as we mm -hmm. move on because now we're at the halfway point mm -hmm. really right. the cream of the crop is here mm -hmm. yeah. and you're going to get to see how we design you'll see probably more behind the scenes yeah and everything that we've kind of talked about you'll actually get to see it right. and uh i think the next for, they've already released it but the next uh episode's going to be uh buyer's, buyer's choice. choice okay so the buyers actually will sit down with us oh, that's talk awesome. to us and tell us what they want to see from us for this next runway show. So do you, there's been a lot of talk with this show because it got changed tonight, it got changed to Friday yeah. night, yeah. which is kind of like the kiss of death for shows. And this is such yeah. an amazingly fantastic show. Do you know anything at all as to whether or not they're going to be doing a third season or anything for the future of Fashion Star? I, I hope so because, you know, I have to say Louise Rowe, the, mm -hmm. uh, the host, host, phenomenal. I mean, it just, it's like... So got, much more engaging, like, you know, right. and she's just like really, like, it. it was more about the fashion as opposed to like last season when it was like you know trapeze artists and like fireworks and you know and all this you but know like fireworks. Yeah. But it's, like, <laughs> it's just definitely project runway but it's too it's it's a it's a, a tangible item that you can you can yeah. you can buy so yeah. i think it really it's like I, project I runway meets shark tank yeah exactly ah, I like that, that is that is, is a yeah. great yes. great. yeah mm -hmm. so um what, oh, I'm sorry. well no I'm sorry. What, what can we you know what do we what can we expect from you guys like yeah. what do y'all have coming up oh we got so many tricks up our sleeve we honestly we don't design dresses and we didn't actually go to design school so everything's self-taught so we literally oh we learned so. draped right there wow. and then like we only did wow. tops and sweater tops and we didn't even know. sketch we use usually use the computer to actually do all of our cads That's and we've impressive. got impressive but if you look you'll see our drawings our sketches get much better <laughs> like, we really we really grow in the show so and you, awesome. the first one with that that shift dress it looks like a like you know stick figure <laughs> <laughs> right, can we glue this here can we glue that there yeah Wait, that was has, mine has <laughs> Fashion Star up to this point, because now we're what five episodes in. Mm -hmm. Has Fashion Star changed your life at all yet? Like, have you are you noticing people are running you down on the streets? Like, what's happening? I think a lot of my our buyers are really really into it, and that's what's it's cool mm -hmm. is like the fashion industry is accepted. Because at first they were like, it's like you know you're on, you guys are designers, and now you're on a reality show. Mm -hmm. Like, what's going on? Like, so like it, it was cool to like you know the vice president of Neiman Marcus to be watching this, and like you know, and then all of our like high end boutique buyers like Ron Herman. Oh, like, great. you know, emailing us, yeah. Email us. Oh, like, awesome. you guys are awesome. so great. Yeah, You're so. just like, increase your buys. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> PR, PR, PR. Exactly. Yeah. Right. I love you to watch, but I love you by myself. Okay. Uh, well, it's been amazing having you guys here. We would love Thank to have you, you back. Yeah, Absolutely. we'd love to be back. You know, yeah, we've got yeah, some more guests planned, but we would love to have you back whenever oh, yeah. you want to come in. Yeah. Thanks Absolutely. for coming. Yeah, Tell you. everyone where people can find you guys, find your clothing line. Tell everyone all that info. So you can find, actually, all of our stores on our website at www.shobeck, S-J-O-B-E-C-K, Malibu.com. And we're sold at Intermix, uh, Neiman's, uh, Ron Herman, By George, Jamie Boutique, um, mm. All your TNT high end boutiques Canada. all over the country. So, like, no yeah. Forever 21 prices. <laughs> no, uh, no, but, but we are 100% made in America. And That's it's really important. Awesome. We design awesome. everything downtown. We manufacture everything downtown. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a really important thing. My grandma made, she gave us... You know, she's the one who put us in the fashion industry. Aww. She's very artistic. And she said, I got one rule. I was like, oh, or one, you have a contingency. I'm like, yeah. Grandma, I mean, I know you're Jewish, but do we have to have contingencies for <laughs> the money? She's like, she's like, I got one contingency, honey. I was like, okay, what is that? She's like, it's got to be made in America. I'm like, wow. Okay. Awesome. I can do that's that. Awesome. It's hard, but it, yeah, but mm -hmm. it's it's 100% USA. That's made. awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. awesome. Well, thanks so and much. And you guys for are on Twitter? Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah, yes. Twitter. You can tweet us at uh, Garrett Gerson. And mine is Shobek Malibu, at Shobek Malibu. All right, and let's just go around the table. Where can we find everybody else? You can find me, Erica Vieira, on Twitter at Erica Vieira LA, and also my clothing line that I co-own with my sister at Rally Babe LA.
And you can find me at Virginia Reina, and you can also stop by my online boutique, yourstrulyla.com. And you can find me at I am Steph Z, Steph with an F. God, I feel like I need a clothing line or something. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll get one though. <laughs> something. Uh, you guys can find me, Deanna Vaughn, at Go To Girl TV. That's she owned the number two girl TV. And this has been an awesome. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Thank, Thank you so, so much. Thank you. for coming. Thanks for having us. Yeah. 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 All right. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Manunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.